In this tutorial, I'll be going over the submenu located at the bottom of your screen. This menu system is anchored and available from anywhere that you navigate throughout the screen. First in our submenu is the MDI. At this point, you can enter in any MDI commands that you'd like. Second one is our user buttons. The user buttons can be editable just by clicking on edit and choosing the particular button and then saving it, pressing done. At that point we can turn things on and off, particularly this LED. Under tooling, we have two floating windows, the feed and spindle control. These are floating menus that can be dragged around and positioned wherever you'd like. We have our limits. We can display these large DROs at the top in distance to go, or part, or machine. We can also turn off and on our soft limits, Z inhibit, and online or offline. Under controls, we have our block delete, single block, optional stop, run from here, reverse run, run the part, and stop. Under offsets, we can choose to ref all home zero accesses, and every independent access. Under jog, we also have a floating menu that can be dragged to actually jog and position this, choosing step or MPG. We also have our tool path, which we can jump from screen to screen. We also can rotate our tool path, pan, zoom, and rotate. We can also change our display mode to table or to part. We can also do a jog follow or turn off jog follow. We can also refresh this toolpath screen. By pressing the far right arrow key, we can get to manual mode, disabled, enabled. We can also get to library, parameters, g-code, parameters, which will actually pop up and display the current line of g-code if there's an m-code in it, and error checking, status, and clear status. We also have scripting for the VB script editor, brains editor, and brains. We also can access our on-screen keyboard for other special functions.